What's going on everybody? Got myself another racetrack repair here. This is actually the front tire to my gas rack. It's what I load all four cans of fuel. Weighs about 400 pounds in total. And I pulled around with that. There's two wheels in the back. And uh, this pin is like the trailer hitch of the whole thing. So over, I don't know how old this is. Um, it gets repainted every year. So it looks new all the time. But over the years, 400 pounds, eventually broke this pin off. So in this video, it doesn't really matter what this project is, I'm gonna do a weld repair. And I think this could apply to a lot of situations, how I would clean this up and get this back in here and ensure it doesn't break again. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is get this thing apart. Since this pin sits in here like this, and this is the actual side of the swivel, there can't be any weld around here or it would hit uh, the other part of the rack. That's why all this grease is on here, just from being lubricated all the time. So this pin's actually welded in from the bottom. So we have to clean out this old weld here. And to do that, I'm gonna start off with this carbide bit. And then normally I would probably finish it off with something like this barrel sander, but I realized I'm completely out of these. So I'm gonna have to hit up Empire Abrasives and order some more. So I'm just gonna use the carbide bit and then whatever else I can find to smooth it out and get this weld completely cleaned off of here. The biggest thing with doing any kind of repair is to get it as clean as possible. This thing was nasty, it had grease, it had paint, it had the old weld. We've got all that cleaned up. I'm gonna wipe it down yet. I cleaned up the backside a little bit too. This is quarter inch thick, so I don't really think it would pull paint through, but I just wanted to minimize the smoking and the nastiness that's gonna happen. Next, since this piece fits up like this, I'm going to put a chamfer around here and then get this all cleaned up and also put a chamfer on the actual stud. That way we can do maybe two passes around here and get the weld really, really penetrated in there. Okay, now I just need to get it positioned back in there and as straight as possible, because otherwise every time I turn the wheel, you know, it's gonna slant and angle. So I think, go to my little trusty vise here, and it's got a groove in here that should hold something round pretty straight, or, you know, 90 degrees to the top surface. So I'm gonna clamp it in about a quarter inch up, since that's about what the material is. Maybe it's about 3 16 that looks pretty good right there. I think I'm just gonna give it a tack, pull it out and see how straight we are. I've got the Fronius Magic Wave set to about 135 amps right now. See how that works, may have to go up, but I think that should be plenty. Yeah, and there it is, simple little repair. I know this was a quick video, but hopefully if you've never done some kind of a weld repair, you uh, picked up a few tips from this video. Mainly, make sure you got everything clean, get any kind of crack cleaned out, get the old weld cleaned out, get a good chamfer so your new nice weld can get laid in there and it doesn't re-break. And that's, that's pretty much the basics. So uh, another thing I wanted to mention, Defiant Metal TIG gloves are now back in stock on defiantmetal.com and will shortly be also on Amazon. So I appreciate everyone who's picked up these gloves. I'm just a little guy, you know, it greatly supports the channel and what we're doing here. 
and you know, I'm not some big company. So everyone who's bought a pair or continues to buy pairs has left reviews. I mean, I can't, I can't thank you enough. If you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'll see you next time.